Hey, differential equation students. What we're going to be doing here is solving this spring equation with a discontinuous forcing function. Notice how we have a force that's on for a while, and then at 3, it switches off. Now, what I'm going to focus on in this video is the mechanics of how we solve this. The interpretation, what this means and what the graph looks like, we'll handle in class. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite this using heavy side functions. And a really easy way to rewrite the left-hand side is 1 minus u3 of t. All right, so now we're taking the plus transform of everything. All right, so when we do this, we're going to get s squared times the Laplace transform of y. Notice that since y is 0 and y prime of 0 are both equal to 0, there's no extra terms there. Equals the Laplace transform of y equals 1 over s minus e to the negative 3s over s. Now I'm going to skip a step here because I know you can solve. And what, write down what we get in the solving. Yeah, that's an ugly S. There we go. OK, so you can check. That's what we'd get. We need to do a little bit of work here because we've got something where we need to break this out using partial fractions. So what we're going to get is 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 1 minus e to the negative 3s times 1 over s minus s over s squared plus 1. If you're wondering where did I get that, I got that from Maple. Okay, it's time to take the inverse Laplace transform. So what do we get? Well, we're going to get a y equals, this is the Laplace transform of 1, and s over s squared plus 1 is the Laplace transform of cosine. So this is 1 minus cosine of t. All right, now what's happening here next? Notice that I've got the exact same expression but I've got this e to the minus 3s out in front. So that tells me two things. First off, this tells me I'm going to have a heavy side function. I'm going to have u3 of t. That also means I'm going to take this function here and shift it by 3. Well, what is the inverse Laplace transform of this? Well, the first thing I get is just 1. And there's no way to shift 1. I mean, I don't have a t in there, so I can't move it over by 3. But what I have next is the Laplace transform of cosine. And so since it has this e to the minus 3s out in front, I've got to rewrite that as cosine of t minus 3. This is a very typical response when we have a problem like this. We're going to have something that starts, and then we're going to have something else that changes what we've got going on at 3. And so you notice that what's going to happen is we're going to get this different behavior once t is past 3. If you graph this, which I would suggest doing, you'll notice that the behavior will look strange. Well, not exactly strange, but it'll look, like it'll, it'll look one way once we get up to 3. And then afterwards, since there's no force, you're just going to see regular oscillation. But like I said, we'll emphasize that more in class. Now, I've skipped a lot of steps. If you have any questions, make sure that you're going through Maple for this, or ask me in class.